So this week I spent basically fixing up everything that was already in the game, trying to improve it a bit. So the first thing I really wanted to look into was audio, because a lot of the times I feel like I'm a, a scrub lord when it comes to audio, and I'd heard a lot about this editor called FMOD, which is what you're seeing now. And this basically acts as like both an audio editor, as well as like a, a sequencer and like mixer, and it integrates into Unity really nicely. So the editor itself is amazing. You can like, for example, put in multiple tracks. Here I've got two click tracks and then it'll just switch between them. You can change the percentage chance one will play over the other. You can also do really cool things like uh, modulation. So I can modulate the pitch, I can modulate the volume, I can put in like a fade in or a fade out. And yeah, it does, does some amazing stuff. Like um, you can put in variables, which you then can let you switch between like different footstep tracks. Um, what else is there? I, mean, I don't want to play too many of these because um, some of them are assets to assets. But one of the things you can also just use it is a basic timeline, so I can sequence uh, like a couple of clicks to make like a double click. And the nice thing is that when you build into Unity, um, A, it only builds like the assets you've actually used, so you can have as many audio tracks as you want in here, and then um, whichever ones you've actually used will get built, which saves a lot of time in, in Unity with importing and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, once it's in, you just kind of select these clips from a drop down, and you can play them. The main issue comes with like the way the Unity integration is dealt with. For example, when I want to play one of these clips in Unity, I give it a string. So the string would be like impacts slash wood impact if I wanted to play this particular clip. So the issue is then if I move this wood impact to another folder, let's say I'm rearranging things, I want to rename it, all of my instances inside Unity will just break because they're referencing a path that no longer exists. There are ways to get around this, so you can make a scriptable object, have your um, have your sources kind of reference that scriptable object, and then that scriptable object references this path, so that when you change it, you only need to change one thing instead of many things. But there's just a lot of issues with the actual Unity side integration of this. Um, so for example, in the footsteps, um, I've got this terrain type. In Unity, this gets imported in as an integer value, so I have to remember that zero was grass, on the sand, so I basically have to make enums so every time I want to make a variable uh, inside FMOD Studio. Um, and yeah, there's issues with like horizontal and vertical blending, where horizontal blending is where you kind of jump between uh, points in this track, and vertical blending is when you're kind of toggling off and on different tracks. So here I'd be like vertically blending between grass, sand, stone, and wood tracks. So yeah, the, the editor itself is amazing. I love that you can just add uh, audio effects on to different different things really easily. You can go and modulate pitches between like separate things as well. And it's just all tied together in this really nice interface. Um, the issue just is just with the Unity integration. It's personally like I find myself having to write so much more stuff to deal with that. So I've gone back to just using the default uh, Unity sounds basically. Um, but I think if you are working with an audio engineer or you do have time to add this extra layer into Unity for this, uh, it's well worth it because this editor is so much uh, better and just ha not having to deal with all having all these audio assets in a folder and Unity project just makes it work so much easier. So this is the new main menu. It's kind of a lot more thematic. There's a lot of kind of like ambient sounds, things like that. Um, things for the buttons too. I've started trying to theme the UI around the game. The idea of kind of like the stranded island, um, things being bolted together. I'm also going back to using like the old uh, font that I had for my farming game, which I do like. I'm not sure if I want to hand make like a custom, like handwritten font to just personalize it a bit and make it look a little bit less kiddy. But I don't know. I think it looks kind of cool, especially now that it's all not just block caps. So yeah, um, got a nice little fading system. It fades the audio and scenes in and out. <laughs> I've got a terrible uh, cutscene. Which I'm still working on because, as you can see, it's it's very much not perfect. Um, that is actually from Mix and Jams um, dialogue system. Uh, I've modified the dialogue system a lot because mine is running on a uh, a system called Yarn uh, that handles like all of the dialogue um, nodes and things like that and parsing. Um, However, I am using some of their like sounds and some of their like basic ideas of the way they handle Cinemachine. So yeah, um, 
I've got in basic effects for like grass and things like that that I showed you in F mod. And I've also changed all the pickups to be grabbable. So it now shows you like a little prompt. And that's just like a canvas essentially that just has a little um, little icon on it that is linked to whatever you've set your things to be in the key bindings. And yeah, then whenever you go near something, it will essentially pop that up as well as placing it above the player's head. And hopefully this gives enough of a prompt to make people realize that, oh, they can actually uh, interact with this object. So the other new thing is, um, which I think I had a little bit shown last time, is the crafting system. So when I hit J, it kind of zooms in. Uh, actually, I'll get out of here because then you can see the map. So you have this little map and you can select between things. The animations still need a little bit of work. Um, whenever you craft something, it'll kind of <laughs> show this kind of like weedy animation. Um, and yeah, then you get your nice little axe and your crafting inventory. I haven't quite finished the pass on getting the trees to fall over convincingly. Currently they just kind of like vibrate a bit and then break into these chunks that you can then go and pick up. Uh, much like you would in like Stardew or things like that. So these are actual spawn pickups, whereas the uh, the things lying on the ground initially are like these collectibles. Okay, I've also got it in for a pickaxe too. So yeah, there's some there's some really basic juice going on here. With Sin Machine, you can add like a noise um, module to it that you can then just ping for like some really easy screen shake. Um, the objects themselves just they use a uh, random dot inside unit circle, and they just vibrate for a uh, half a second or so. A lot of stuff I've got in currently, I'm I'm happy with, but it needs a little bit, bit of polish. Um, for example, the crafting where you've got the player. I'm really hoping that I can get him to look at whichever thing you're kind of currently massing over. And then when he actually is crafting something, his expressions will change, he'll like hold it up, and it'll be a lot more cooler. Um, as well as the way these things currently look when they're selected is kind of a bit basic and bland. So I could have stuff like the pickaxe rotating in this little preview window, I think that'd be cool. But yeah, it's, it's, going, uh, it's going good. I, I was kind of expecting this to take a week, because I thought, hey, I don't have too many systems, but it's definitely definitely taking a lot longer. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for now. Um, I've got the inventory is kind of all placeholder stuff, um, so there's nothing much to use in there yet. But hopefully once I've got all these systems polished, they'll provide like a really good foundation for uh, the rest of the game. And yeah, I hope that everything's going well with your stuff, and enjoy your week!